Hello, it's Tim and Lorraine from Fair Play Now on the 22nd September 2022. And we thought we'd do a special anniversary kind of video with both of us talking. Well, probably more Lorraine talking actually because you haven't heard from her for a very long time. It's been a very long time <laughs> since we've done this. But I think it was just before Christmas it's Just to prove last that I year. am still around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it hasn't become a figment of, figment of my imagination. So a special anniversary because we celebrated our 31st anniversary yesterday. yesterday and, we did. and we're kind of continuing Crazy. doing that, aren't we, over the sort of yeah. uh, a long weekend, really. So uh, it's all going. Yeah, having a great time, aren't we, really? So, yeah, as it's been a very long time yes. uh, since we were on last time, as I say, it's last December, and it's thing, things have moved on a lot since yeah, then because because that was, we we're just they'd only just voted in that uh, stupid uh, what do they even call it the um, Plan B thing. The, the MPs had only voted in the Plan B, which was going to restrict people like uh, Lorraine, me and you probably uh, a lot and it wasn't too and we we're probably cursing that and sort of not very yeah, happy about it were we? Worrying about it. Uh, but things seem to be a lot different so I don't know what your thoughts are on that. Um, um, yeah well I mean I've gone to the theatre quite a few times um, out for meals as normal um, and some of the, the countries that were closed down to the likes of us are now opening, have opened back up or are opening back up. Um, so everything feels more positive. Although, of course, because they like to go from one scare to the next, we're now on the electricity scare. Yeah, the energy crisis. And which I feel, yeah, energy crisis, which I feel is, is contrived, yeah. I think. I mean, there's reports coming out that we're now buying our gas from China who have bought it from Russia and we're not buying it from Russia because we're sanctioning them. Mm. So we're buying it at an inflated price. Yeah, How yeah. does that even make any sense to Or at least anybody? Europe are, yeah. That, yeah, I'm not sure if it's us doing that, but it, definitely Europe, the EU or Germany yeah. uh, are, are doing all of that. So and how does that even ridiculous. make any sense? It's, it's insane. Well, the, we're... In, living in an insane world aren't we and when i say that to people they just uh, it's the same look as when i said to them about all the other stuff yeah yes uh, rain has lost the plot still yeah <laughs> they what? i don't know it's i mean i i say insane. there are some people that are no longer having the v and will no longer have any mm. yeah we, we know a few people like that don't we yeah, yeah um so that's kind of encouraging yeah, but, um, but it's ever such a slow process, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, no, it's just yeah. ridiculous, really. And of course, we've all been inundated with the latest national grief. Oh yes, yes, of course, um, yeah. Uh, that's um, sort of well. Hopefully, that's kind of starting to get behind us now, and we can just move move on from yeah. that. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, it's just such an insane world and like you were saying it's when you're talking to people you sort of you want to say surely surely you've woken up now yeah you're starting to at least starting to smell a yeah. rat and they're like no no, no not, <laughs> not really <laughs> but interesting enough like the whole climate change mm. stuff we have friends that were very on board with the the last mm. two and a half years um, but they're not on board with climate change and no. No. they know all the reasons like the lithium who goes and collects the lithium and the wages that they get paid to go and do that and that the batteries are never going away they'll just be there forever yeah even though yeah. you can they only last 10 years and then what they just will throw them in the sea perhaps yeah oh, who, who knows <laughs> so they're very know. they're very on top with that on board with that yeah, they, yeah. But, but when it comes to the Lurgy, we can't and the v, talk to them about it at no, all. And they, no, no. they've actually, I only have two friends that I've never told about mm. my status. Mm. 
Um, one, because she's terminally ill and I felt it wasn't going to help her to know either way because I don't come into close contact with her. I make sure I sit the opposite side of the room anyway. Um, but the other one is, is this couple and yeah, because yeah. I just felt they were so on board with it all. I felt like it would affect our friendship if they knew. And they were the only people. Yeah, Those yeah. two people were the only ones that didn't know. It was surprising about that lady yeah. as well, wasn't it? Because I, th yeah. because she's a real no-nonsense, no yeah, BS yeah. lady normally. And uh, yeah. um, I was fully expecting when we came out of the first lockdown and started meeting up with them again, that she'd be like, oh, what do you think of all this lurgy stuff? It's a load of old rubbish, isn't it? She'd <laughs> yeah. have probably said the B-O-L-L etc word wouldn't she because she, would. uh, cause she doesn't yeah. miss her words at all yeah, she uh, so I was expecting her to be like that and then yeah. she was going oh when I first went to the pub with a friend uh, for lunch oh, I was so afraid and I was rubbing down the whole table and disinfecting it and yeah. I'm like really? and that was a real surprise and it was wasn't there was it? a couple of times when over the past like two and a half years the conversation was going to the big V and we, I just would like just change the subject. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I just think most you people have to, no, though. but most you people knew to. my views. But and I know, like, if you're a good friend, but I just felt like she was so paranoid about it. Mm, mm. I thought if she knew there was a possibility, she wouldn't want to see us again. And I know there's a lot of, or well, so what. Mm, mm. But I didn't want that. Well, you're not a con confrontational person anyway I no. sort of hate confrontation yeah, I uh, really well do. I, do. I'd, I'd, I'd I do have, really. yeah I mean yeah. I'd rather apologize for something that's not even my fault to avoid mm. confrontation <laughs> yeah I'm, so, the I'm, I'm, I'm the same you know I mean we've argued before and, and you when I've turned my back you've left the room to avoid <laughs> confrontation <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So you like it even less than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of... Uh, that's that's probably why we're celebrating 31 years of marriage. <laughs> you don't get involved in it. <laughs> don't get involved uh, no, in the confrontation. That's, uh, that's it, yeah. yeah so, uh, um, but, yeah, and I, th I would say you are just trying to make the most of life at the moment. My God, yes. Seeing yeah. friends, going out and yeah. doing things. Bits because and you just don't know when it's all going to go belly up again. No, no. And you can't... I think we've we've taken for granted that we've, we've got a free life mm. up until two and a half years ago. And now we realise that you can't. So you just try and cram in as much as you can. Yeah. See as many friends family as we can yeah yeah well you're very friend and family orientated you've got a zillion friends i'm um, sort of yeah. kind of billy no mates compared to lorraine and uh, <laughs> uh apart from all you guys here um, yeah uh, that's not true show. anymore is it no no so um uh but yeah living life to the full that that's kind of what i've yeah. learned over the last two and a half years as yeah well. i mean we've we've been going away and I mean, in this country, we've gone away quite a few, quite a lot this year, haven't we? Making yeah. the most of being able to do that. Yeah. We are thinking, hopefully, maybe next year, travelling abroad. But if that doesn't happen, yeah, so yeah. be it. I'm not compromising my body just so as I can go abroad. No, no. And I think that is sort of... Uh, well ridiculous frankly um yeah yeah we, we've we've got a friend who's just literally gone to indonesia place in indonesia and uh we'd like to go to the same place but they uh, indonesia is not allowing um they're one of the last oh. countries you know not not allowing the likes of us in there um oh i think they are but the last i heard you were having to isolate in a dedicate in a specified hotel yeah for five days or a week or something so if we go for two weeks yeah yeah we're we're just stuck in a hotel for a week it was oh that's sad that'd, times, that'd be sad lovely times. wouldn't it yeah so yeah i think they've got to the stage where we are allowed in yeah but not immediately <laughs> no but but my, my point is this friend of ours she loves going there uh used to go there yeah uh, 
you know, about two or three times a year. She and, has people uh, that she knows that are like her extended family. Yeah. Because so. she's been going since 90, most years, I should say, since 92. Yeah, but she hasn't been able to go since uh, late 19, 2019. Um, yeah. Because she was so desperate to get back there, she's at least tripled. I don't know if she's had the fourth. No, but, I don't. Um, I know she's had the triple. Yeah, but... Uh, because that's that's what they want you. They You can't go in... You can't go and just holiday as normal unless you've had three. No, but she, but she's literally for the first time since nineteen. Despite that, only just managed to get back there now. She's literally yeah. just got, went out yesterday, I think. And, yeah. Um, and I just thought it'd be so ironic if Indonesia sort of lifted all of their restrictions in the next week or two, and it'd be like, well, you only had to wait yeah. another couple of weeks. And um, well, I know they've got. The- you needn't have had the. The reason, yeah, the reason that they were so strict, allegedly, mm. is because oh. they have the G8 conference there, and I'm not sure if it was September or October. Oh, but yeah. But they were keeping yeah. all the restrictions up because, God forbid, any of the elite get. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's. Oh my God. Yeah, maybe they'll lift the, their restrictions so after it, that. Yeah, but, uh, it, it could. It but, could happen. Yeah, but but anyway, but, that's uh, that's but just yeah, one little thing. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like the um, the difference between the end of last year, where I literally thought we weren't, I we were never going to go, be able to go to anything ever again. Even the, it is looking dodgy for even being able to allow, uh, allowed to go yeah. into theatres, yeah. uh, cinemas, even pubs and restaurants and shops. They're yeah. talking about, yeah. and, uh, so and we gone, and we turned it around, and it was gone because from that. And it, yeah, I think it was because of uh, the likes of everybody speaking out and yeah. going on the um, the London shopping trips and the, the other shopping trips around the rest of the country as well. Yeah. Um, I think it's like the likes of uh, you guys, um, Lorraine yeah. and, uh, uh, and me in my like, way, a little way. Yeah, 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 of course. People th- like you on, on YouTube. I think we, we did help turn it around. Yeah, and, uh, and I mean, we were talking about at the beginning of it all when it felt like we were the only sane people in the world. And then we oh. found all these other YouTube, or you found all these other YouTube people that were saying a similar thing and that was like yeah. a godsend, wasn't it? That's it. Because That's we were like, it, yeah. oh, okay, we're not on our own. And then you found out about the stand in the park and then we're like, oh, we're not on our own in this area either. No, no, there's loads of them, isn't there? Um, but it did feel like the end of last year was feeling a little bit dark as if... And we yeah. still didn't know whether... Because the year before, my mum had refused to come round to ours because the government were advising people not to. Mm. Oh. So <laughs> even last year, last Christmas, we didn't know, did we, that no. my mum and sister would be coming round, and then thank goodness they did. Yes. So it yeah. all seemed like kind of very bleak. It it but did. But it, it feels more it positive now, and I think also you've got to think of the Canadian truckers and everything that they did. Yeah, they, surely yeah. has a has helped. You would hope with Canada letting people. Travel yeah, I, th- I think whatever the, whatever you did, uh, Canadian yeah. truckers, um, even just making comments under videos like this, um, or even under the, maybe some of the mainstream media ones yes. where they're coming out with their nonsense and yeah, uh, and are, putting the points across and putting the uh, you know comments the underneath. other side across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, I think all things like that. Have yeah, helped. it's it's how it, it's all helped. Uh, yeah, yeah, no matter how much or li- little anyone did. Yeah, um, it just sent a message to yeah. the powers that shouldn't and I mean, be. Even our friend who was a care worker. Mm. And when they were saying to her, well, you've got to have that by Mm. the end of whenever it was. And she was like, I mean, it was a stopgap for her anyway, that job. Yeah. She's like, no, thank you. I'll just hand in my notice and go. And off she went. And uh, And it's uh, people like that, I think, as well. The people that stood up and said no. And I, I think those people were in a horrible situation because fancy being told you'll be out of a job unless you have oh. it. I mean, I don't know what we would have done, but we luckily were never in that situation. No, no. Because I was working from home and they're still trying to get us to come back now and we're all like, no, we're fine working from home, thank you very much. Absolute criminal 
situation that was wasn't yeah it? horrible uh, and yeah. I think if you've got kids and you you would have and that was your main livelihood you would have crumbled you would have just gone along with it wouldn't you I think yeah it would I have know. been very hard not to it would have been hard, hard not to um, but thankfully we weren't in that situation and our friend who was in that situation she was able to afford to say no I'm off yeah you can yeah, stick your job yeah, and I think there are ways and means I'd I think I would have stuck it out, even if I was in a job which I really loved and uh, and it was really great money and all the rest of it. If they'd turned around and said, it's like you, you either get that or you're out, um, I'd have... You would have fought, I think. I'd have, fought, I'd have fought it and then I'd have gone. I wouldn't have had the no. thing. And then and there's always other but things to do. But that's the type of person you are because you're very stubborn, aren't you? If you don't want to do something that somebody tells you to do. Yeah. Have you, fa- have you found won't. that out in 31 years of marriage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And I've, I mean, the, the great thing is I realise that the more I say, can you do this, can you do this, can you do this, and you say no, mm. the less likely it is it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've made your mind up that no, yeah, I am a, it's, it's no good me nagging. Nagging doesn't work. Oh, I'm a bit, just, I can be stubborn. You've got to sow yeah, your seed yeah. the other way. You've got to, you know, like sow the seed in another way, <laughs> in a sneaky, underhand way. Oh dear, yeah, I've got to watch out for that, haven't I? Um, right, we're starting to get on already, uh, time-wise, on this video uh, up to 16 minutes. Um, so I think I'm going to. F- we're going to end it there. Um, both of us are meeting up with uh, these other YouTubers who I Yay. talked about a couple of videos ago, uh, uh, Lee and Marty, up in the Midlands. So uh, I did say on that video, I'll repeat it here. If you're interested in attending, kind of email me at either tim at fairplaynow.net or fairplaynow.net slash contact and I'll email you back uh, hopefully by the end of tomorrow with uh, the details of where and when it's going to be well it's going to be Saturday morning but I'll tell you exactly what time and location details then so on that I think we'll finish this and I'll we won't leave it whatever that's been nine months uh, quite so long before getting Lorraine back on here again (laughs) Uh, we'll do another one of these way sooner than that but uh, we'll leave it. So it's Tim and Lorraine (laughs) from Fair Play Now. Thanks for watching. Bye.